Well, the Royals will take the field this afternoon to practice before game one of the World Series. Kansas City is known for loud fans, but just wait. Patrick Fazio has been at Kauffman Stadium all morning. He joins us now live with what to expect. Patrick. Hey, good morning, Cynthia, and welcome back. Glad to have you back. You came back at a great time. World Series here at Kauffman and just across the parking lot at Arrowhead Stadium. You know, Chiefs fans set the record for loudest outdoor stadium in the world just a few weeks ago, and now Royals fans will give them a run for their money tomorrow night, even though the K seats just about half of what Arrowhead does. Now, the Royals fans will have plenty to cheer about, plenty of excitement because of uh, what they have. They have the logos on the field. They have the paint drying on the uh, the field and the logos on the dugouts as well as you see and the director of the Royals Hall of Fame told me today that he's never heard Kauffman Stadium as loud as it was during the ALCS. Kurt Nelson says just imagine what it's going to be like here for the World Series tomorrow night. He was surprised that the crowd was just as loud after the ALCS game as it was during the game. They were just as loud leaving the ballpark as they ever had been inside the ballpark during the game, and they were electric inside the ballpark. I've never seen anything like it before. It sent chills up your spine when you saw it, and I know that's going to happen again over the course of the next couple of days. Now, Nelson also says the 40,000 or so fans who will be here at the K really give the team a home field advantage. He pointed out during the wild card game against the Oakland A's, the outfielders couldn't hear each other and they dropped the ball late in the game, and that allowed the Royals to come back and win that game and continue their postseason run.